18 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by ali ahmed first the headlines prime minister has urged police to provide sense of protection and peace to the public high-tech maritime patrol aircraft and drones were inducted into pakistan navy's aerial fleet in karachi today the government has collected 2,083 billion rupees in first six months of the current fiscal year. Special Assistant on Information says Indian society is under the siege of Hindutava and the minorities are being subjected to worst persecution. Kashmiris will observe the right to self-determination day tomorrow with renewed resolve to continue struggle for their inalienable right. Iran has warned to launch legal measures at the international level to hold the United States to account for the assassination of its top general in Iraq. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has urged police to provide sense of protection and peace to the public. Inaugurating model police station in Miawali today, he said it is job of the police stations to facilitate people as complainants come to this facility for the redressal of their issues. He said when police performs better, it changes the destiny of the country. Imran Khan said setting up of model police stations is important for the public welfare. He said this model police station reflects the new thinking to improve state of affairs. He said politicians would control police and kachari system in the past to harass and intimidate their opponents. This culture will have to be changed. He said police will have to restore its credibility in their public eye. Imran Khan said modern police service delivery at the model police stations will set up an example for all other police stations in the province to emulate. He said he wants to see Punjab police develop on the pattern of police of Khabar Pakhtunkhwa. The Prime Minister said recruitment of KPK police was made on merit and transparency and it won the confidence of people due to its performance. The Prime Minister directed IG Police Punjab to develop other police stations of the province on the same pattern. He assured government's full support to police department in carrying out reforms. Earlier on his arrival at the model police station, Punjab police presented guard of honor to him. Chief Minister Usman Bazdar also accompanied the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister inaugurated Huawei ICT lab at Namal Institute, Miawali today. The Prime Minister was briefed about state-of-the-art information and communications technology facility at Namal Institute. Prime Minister Imran Khan has expressed regret over new law of Indian police for placing a dead man in the list of wanted people protesting against discriminatory citizenship law. In his tweet today, the Prime Minister mentioned our new report of News 18 of India in which Uttar Pradesh police in Pirozabad was found searching for a man included in list of 200 protesters who had died six years back. Imran Khan said Indian police brutality has reached new low as its a uh, program of Muslims continues as part of fascist Muzi government's ethnic cleansing agenda. High-tech maritime patrol aircraft and drones were inducted into Pakistan Navy's aerial fleet at a ceremony in Karachi today. Speaking on the occasion, Chief of the Naval Staff, Admiral Zafar Mahmood Abbasi said, induction of the aircraft will enhance capacity of Pakistan Navy. The aircraft will also expand operations of the Special Forces. He said acquisition of more automated drones having more capabilities is part of the upcoming projects of Pakistan Navy to further improve maritime operations. The government's tax collection in first six months of the current fiscal year is 2,083 billion rupees, which is 16.3% higher than last year. According to a press release of FBR, it is the highest growth rate since 2015 till 2016. The original target of 2,367 billion rupees was revised to 2,197 billion rupees in view of import compression in first quarter. The trend has continued for the second quarter as well. The FBR has redoubled its efforts on domestic side and has managed to shift its tax dependence on import taxes from 56% to 
to a little above 40% this year. This is Radio Pakistan. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Fizaz Ashikavan says, Pakistan is being transformed into a real picture of Qaid Azam's vision under the leadership of Prime Minister Imran Khan. In a series of tweets today, she said Pakistan is the country of all Pakistanis where there is no discrimination on the basis of caste, creed, and religion. She said all the minorities in Pakistan have right to lead their lives as per their religion, and the constitution of Pakistan is guarantor of their rights. Firdaus Ashikavan said today, India, which was created in the name of secularism, has been thrown into flames of prejudice and hatred. She said the minorities are staging protests as they are being deprived of their basic right of citizenship by India. She said the Indian society in, is under the siege of Hindu Tava and the minorities are being subjected to worst kind of oppression and persecution. Minister for Religious Affairs P. Nurul Haq Qadri says Pakistan and Saudi Arabia enjoy time-tested brotherly relations. Speaking at a ceremony in Islamabad today, he said Saudi Arabia has always been on the forefront in serving and helping the needy. The ceremony was organized to distribute relief goods among over 2,000 families of northern areas and Kashmir affected by severe cold. Later talking to media, the minister said minorities and Muslims in India are being persecuted and discriminatory laws are being introduced against them. He said Pakistan is a peaceful country and will continue playing its role for peace in the region. Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control and the world over will observe the right to self-determination day tomorrow with the pledge to continue their liberation struggle till it reaches its ultimate goal. It was on 5th January in 1949 when the United Nations Security Council passed a resolution supporting the Kashmiris' right to decide their future by themselves through UN-sponsored plebiscite. The day will be marked by various activities including rallies, seminars and conferences across the world to remind the United Nations that it must implement its resolutions to settle the Kashmir dispute to save the Kashmiris from Indian brutalities. This year, the day is being observed when occupied Kashmir is under military siege for the past over 150 days. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif has said Iran will launch legal measures at the international level to hold the United States to account for the assassination of their general Qasem Soleimani. In an interview, he said killing of Iran's top military commander was clearly a terrorist action. On the other side, in a letter written to United Nations Security Council, Iranian United Nations Ambassador Majid Takht Ravanchi told uh, United Nations Security Council and Secretary General Antonio Guterres that Iran reserves its right to self-defense under the international law. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis chanting anti-American slogans gathered to attend a funeral procession for Qasem Soleimani in Baghdad. Iraq's Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mehdi and other important government officials also attended the funeral. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and United States Secretary of State Mike Pompeo have discussed the measures for reducing tension in the region. During telephonic conversation, they also reviewed the latest developments in Iraq and efforts to maintain peace and stability in the Middle East in this turbulent period. And finally, the weather. Widespread rain with snowfalls over the hills is expected in Balochistan, Lower Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, South Central Punjab, while at isolated places in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Upper Sindh, Kashmir, and Gilgit Baltistan during the next 12 hours. However, cold and dry weather is expected elsewhere in the country. And now, once again, the headlines. <music> Urged police to provide sense of protection and peace to the public. High-tech maritime patrol aircraft and drones were inducted into Pakistan Navy's aerial fleet in Karachi today. The government has collected 2,083 billion rupees in first six months of the current fiscal year. Special Assistant on Information says Indian society is under the sieges of Hindu Tava and the minorities are being subjected to worst persecution. Kashmiris will observe the right to self-determination day 
tomorrow with renewed resolve to continue struggle for their inalienable right. Iran has warned to launch legal measures at the international level to hold the United States to account for the assassination of its top general in Iraq. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.